Delaware, leading the way in education and technology. This so-called first state was among a handful of states in the country to make the transition to online student assessment. The Delaware Department of Education's online initiative is called DCAS. DCAS stands for the Delaware Comprehensive Assessment System, and it has two meanings. One is the test itself, which is a computer adaptive, meaning a computer-based uh, test that adjusts to how the student is doing on the test during the test. It also refers to that complete portfolio of assessments that the state administers to monitor the progress of students in schools. When you are contemplating this move to computer-based assessment, first you have to ask yourself, are our schools ready? Do they have the technology, the uh, computers, either PCs or laptops or other devices that are now coming into vogue? Uh, do we have the uh, facility of use with a, a computer uh, uh, within the student group? We don't have the computer lab, so we knew we were going to have to be creative right away about testing online. So we were given a set of 30 laptops that we could use. We learned after our first year that we were, we're going to have to do some things differently. We started out with having kids testing just in the classrooms, um, putting the, the laptops in the classrooms and moving the laptops around you know, a little bit at a time. We needed to make sure we could incorporate not just the laptops but you know the other computers that we had at our, in our building. One of the biggest challenges was just familiarity with that type of testing and as soon as we noticed that we started researching programs that would help the kids become familiar and that's where we came you know we found these online um, systems. Workstations we do on a daily basis they use things like Study Island, Animoto to make videos, PowerPoints, whatever we can do to get them using the technology. So Study Island those types of programs are great because they're based on the Common Core standards and it gives them a simulated testing you know environment because they get to read a passage and answer some questions but then it also thro throws in a game component too to make it fun uh, and they have to pass each concept. I do see that teachers are using technology more within their classrooms and, and making it a bigger part of their instruction. One of the main uh, complaints that we had received from educators is that the paper and pencil results never uh, rec were received until the end of the school year. Uh, by moving to a test that could be given multiple times, including the first 30 days of the school year, teachers had more immediate results. The online assessments also give that ability to track their growth, so we can do it you know, three times a year, or something, four times a year now, to see you know, who is growing, and I can see by January who, where do I need to really put my emphasis, who is still struggling, and, and who am I going to work extra hard with to prepare for spring. And I can see that right away, which we wouldn't be able to see with a paper and pencil. As it turns out, the online testing was a hit with the students, beating out the old bubble test. It would um, hurt my hand and um, there were a lot more questions than we have now. Before it would take the whole day and now, we, now that we have it, it takes um, like an hour and we get, to, we get more things done. At this point, kids are so tech savvy. They come into you know, first grade knowing you know, how to do this and that and move the mouse and test. It's just, for them, second nature. The amount of sacrifice that all of these different groups, including the, uh, the General Assembly and teachers made in order to make this successful is amazing. Our thanks go out to them in helping to embrace a system that they described and, and dreamed about and hoped would come about. And it's actually here and something that other states are now calling saying, how did you do this? One more way the state is blazing a trail is through a program called eLearning Delaware. eLearning Delaware is our online professional development program. All teachers in Delaware need 90 clock hours over five years for relicensure, and the eLearning Delaware courses do count toward clock hours toward relicensure. Online professional development is important for educators in the fact that we can take professional development to the educator now 24-7, 365. Uh, we don't need to bring the educator into a central location, uh, you know, saves time, travel. I can't tell you how many people by the end of the class have said, you know, this is the best professional development I have ever participated in. I can do it at my own pace. I can do it when I can focus on things. It's not like after school when I'm worried about picking up my child from daycare or I've just had a, a conference with a parent and I'm still a little keyed up about it. You know, I can focus because I can choose the time that I do this. And it's not all just reading. 
there's video, there's practical hands-on activities that they participate in. You know, the people who develop courses really pay attention to a variety of learning styles and a variety of learning modalities. Another teacher who is probably a 20-year veteran uh, teacher uh, told me that after she took one of the e-learning Delaware courses that the e-learning courses were the most beneficial you know professional development that she's had in a long long time so that's that's the type of stuff that's kind of you know you know throws your shoulder back gets your head high and uh, says yeah it's all worth it